randomly scream out, He's fucking 1 HP in Gardens! I started out like 5 seconds ago. <laughs> Wait, did you actually? Yeah. JP's <laughs> playing Valorant. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I have faith in him. So welcome. I gotta get my platinum rank back. I think episode 63 of, uh, of? the broadcast. I'm, I'm Justin. I thought you were about to say attack on sight. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm JP. And, uh, you're tuned in. So, um, before the thing starts, uh, we, we start talking about whatever we talk about. Did you know they brought back the, the McRib? McDonald's? Yeah, my brother and my dad tried it. I, I took a bite. It's, it's, uh, it tastes like, it looks like school lunch and it tastes like school lunch. Damn. I'll be serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty hyper because, uh, they, my, my family's ordering a bunch of McRibs for, so we can, so we can eat it for dinner. And I yeah. wonder... It's, I, it's okay. Yeah, it's pretty I cool. wonder how fast it's gonna come here. It's very slow. Like I mean, that's slow. it's very small. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have the like the fries and the drink. They'll probably I guess. end up eating like two or three. They're very small. I think I'm just gonna get like one fries and like a drink. I have water here. But uh, what's it called? I'm kind of hoping, <laughs> or I'm kind of wondering if it comes uh during. While we're recording, because if if it is, I'm I might have to bring it in here to do a food review. Yeah, you might have <laughs> to, man. Well, might have to. Yeah, that's in the future. So, uh, okay, so let's uh, let's address the the elephant in the room. Uh, the final season of Attack, oh, Attack on, on. Yeah. Avery. Uh, Avery on Titan. Avery on Titan. <laughs> oh yeah, people don't even know who fucking Avery is. Avery's JP's friend. Oh, look, I have a granola bar here. I didn't even know that I had this. He's gonna be joining the podcast from now on. <laughs> to become an official Good. member. Uh, Sebi couldn't make it today because his house was getting reconstructed. They're, find they're chasing a rat. <laughs> it, they're trying to find a rat in the walls. They're deconstructing his entire house. And while that was happening, uh, uh, a, a pillar fell on Gomez. We had a very swift and quick death. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, Rat 1, Gomez Family 0. So, uh, yeah. we don't know when he's, when he's joining back. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So, the first episode of Season 4 of Attack on Titan. Pretty, pretty good. It, it, I'm pretty sure it takes place after a time skip. Uh, yeah, it was No, I'm almost it? positive because, like, that happened in the manga. And it's happening. Yeah, now, it you, see, you see some people growing up. We get a little more in-depth of, like, the Titans. With the fucking what's it called, and like the jaw titan that we saw. Oh yeah, by the way, spoilers for season four. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, the, Justin. The jaw titan. That, I think it's called a carrier titan, the one with the guns in its back. Oh no, that's a cart titan. Or right, the cart titan. Uh, yeah, cause I know I just know that it's made for like mobility. But, uh, and it's smart. But so yeah, we got that. I think that's the only. T that's one of the only titans that could talk and communicate. Remember. <laughs> Yeah, not Z can talk and communicate. Yeah, one of the only ones. You could, and Ymir can talk. Ymir can talk Z. too. Who? Uh, Ymir. In Titan form? Yeah. Yeah, barely though. It still like counts. She could say. <laughs> she kind of sounds like um, what's it called from a t uh from Full Metal Alchemist um. Oh yeah. The, the, the dog yeah, I forgot. Girl. Yeah, it's been so long. I forgot the name. I'm, I'm eating this granola bar. You, you don't mind, do you? <laughs> You're eating a McRib. What? Oh my god. No, I'm, 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 so I'm, I'm eating a granola bar like right now. The McRib's coming later, buddy. Mm. Mm. Dude, I have 300 ping. For, I, I went up to 400 ping for a second. <laughs> Shit. Oh, sorry. I just got that granola bar down. Uh, Zeke's ability, I thought Zeke being the Beast Titan, I thought he was just, what's it called? Just, like, very strong, and he can com communicate, and, like, that's it. Like, like, he, 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 he fucking yells, and, like, it t sends him a signal. But, no, even, even, like, out of his Beast, uh, Beast Titan form, if he just yells, then, like, apparently, oh, yeah. uh, they just fucking turn into Titans. Which, that, that's actually fucking crazy. They even have to fucking inject a serum into them. I wonder what happened, because they were all in, like... They were all in straight jackets and fucking... They all had weird look on weird looks on their faces. They were holding them captured so they could turn into... Titans. Yeah, but... I think... 
it's not just like they captured them. They like they looked they looked like titans before they even what's it called? Were titans. Yeah, because like, they had like the weird fucking distorted faces of like the weird grinning faces of titans. Yeah, that's true. They fucking titan bombed them. Um, that was pretty cool though. I don't know who like I'm rooting for. Like what, what like, what who I want to win, like the war. And the Marley or Eldio. Yeah, or like obviously the scouts. I think. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you would count them in the war. I think they would join like the Eldio or something. I think they. I don't know who the good Actually, guys are. Yeah, I don't are. know. Nobody really knows who the good guys are. Yeah. I don't think there is a good guy. Maybe. I think it's all just the. Uh... We're gonna have to like watch more to f and find out what's going on. Cause I also <laughs> saw a video once and it was like this lady telling about her like her favorite anime or whatever. Mhm. Mm and then they said Attack on Titan before this so was before I watched Attack on Titan and it was like saying that there was really no bad guy. So I'm guessing she read the manga like before season four came out. Yeah. But that's what she said in the video. So that's what I kind of think now as well. Mhm. Mm but at first you would think the titans are the bad guys, but the titans are really the humans. Yeah. Uh, so they're killing... Also, you know what's what, pretty sad? What's up? Erika was a big Attack on Titan fan. Oh yeah, oh. Rest in power. I need to sneeze. I saw a video today where it showed about him saying, <coughs> I'll never get to see Attack on Titan again, <coughs> something like that. That was pretty sad. Yeah. Also, what was with those like cannons, like the anti can the anti titan bullets or uh, whatever? I don't know. That was insane because that was cool. whatever, like I, of course they're far more advanced than uh, Aaron and the other people inside the walls, which is like a on the other side of the sea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like it, it it tore like Reiner's whole arm off. It was kind of like... And Pierce has armor. They didn't even have to use, like, thunder rods or whatever. Thunder spheres, yeah. I was about to say, it's kind of like thunder spheres, but they're not even, like, thunder spheres. You know, I was, I, I was like, legit wondering why uh, the people inside the walls weren't, like... Like, oh, how come they don't have some of the stuff that they have? Like, while well, they're using cars and, like, uh, aeroplanes... Outside the yeah. walls, <clears throat> inside the walls, just using like horses and stuff. That's realized yeah. that they, they're literally trapped inside the walls. They have to like find like the resources and shit. And I'm like, oh okay. Yeah. They really didn't hold back. But like the, the titans and the stuff, they just like showed them like straight game. Like remember in like the other things, there's like a, a minor detail. I don't even know if I'm completely sure about this, <laughs> but when they would uh, grab someone and eat them, they were they wouldn't really like show it. Or, like, they would, like, pan off a little bit, and, like, you would still see, like, the blood. But, like, when the fucking... In, in the first episode, when the Titans came down, you literally just see him like, fucking... Like, right there. They it didn't move yeah. anything. They just hold him and fucking bite. Yeah. That was a crazy uh, scene. And there, there was probably pe other people in, inside there, right? But that was, like, a town inside that wall. That wait. Those... Mar those what do you I, mean? I wait, know. what do you mean? <laughs> Remember, it was, like, Fort something? Yeah. Those, like, Slavia. uh... Yeah, it was who, 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 who's, who's protecting it? Eldians or Marlias? The Eldians, that was the Eldians. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I think, I think you're right. And then Marlia was trying to get it back, and then Marlian or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the goddamn the fucking... So I, I, I kind of want to rewatch that scene, like, right now. But we're, we're doing something, so right I'll watch it, I'll watch it later. They really didn't hold back. That, that whole episode was war. And it was really weird, seeing it. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> like, it, for the past three seasons, all you just see is fucking, uh, humans fighting titans. <laughs> which is, uh, also humans. And then, like, a little bit in season three, you see, like, humans fighting other humans. But then, like, it's kind of, like, a yeah. weird, it's kind of a weird change seeing it. Like, it's just, like... It changes a lot. Like, in the first season, the humans fight the titans. Uh-huh. Second season... The humans find out they're fighting uh, titans, but the titans are humans. And that, that, one's, that one's also like titan on titan. Yeah, titan on titan. Mm -hmm. And the third season, it's human on human. And then... Now yeah. I don't even know. It's probably like all out. 
Well, it's human and titan versus human. Also, I find the new opening kind of crazy. It's weird. They're probably going to come up with a second opening, because I think there's, there's going to be two parts to it that we, we looked up. Yeah. Uh, But, like, it, there's, like, no spoilers in the thing. We don't even see the characters. We see Eren in the Titan form at the end for, like, a split second, and we see a little like, bit of... Like, he's, like, looks like stone, right. though. Yeah. That was, uh, weird. They, <clears throat> if you could look at the all the other openings, like, they have all have these scenes, and, like, oh, they're pretty spoilerific. But if you look at this, it's just literally just all colorful explosions... And screaming, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's like it's like a gender reveal party. That that, that opening yeah. is a gen big ass gender reveal. <clears throat> but yeah, and like the fucking like lack of lyrics and just like all the explosions and craziness, it really helps emphasize how big and, and important how the this final climax is gonna be and like what what's happening. <laughs> but I, I really it's think it's still pretty confusing. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I <think clears throat> very confusing. Uh, when I, when I really think about it, I, I, it's, it's crazy how Attack on Titan, started in 2013, became, uh, became really popular, and, what's it called? It was just about a boy who wants to get revenge for his mother, and kill, yeah. killing Titans, and then it, it goes like this, and then, like, it's crazy, like, we thought that's just, like, the basic premise, we don't know anything about these Titans, oh, like, oh yeah, they're just fucking... They're monsters, but now we see yeah. that they're humans, and see like Aaron has changed over these years. He has a different perspective on the on the the world and who his enemies really are, and like he come, he's become like an an existential uh, edge lord, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. Attack on Titan. All right, drink water. <clears throat> Uh, what's your favorite opening? What's your favorite Attack on Titan opening? Opening? Yeah. So so <laughs> Mine's uh mine's probably opening five. <laughs> JP Gandam dubs in Valorant. <laughs> mine's probably opening five. Remember, remember uh it was the last opening? Cause that, that was that was fucking epic when they're fucking Sing it. Uh you may not got do not I love that one. Okay. Stuck you know the what's it called? I have a friend who watched Attack on High and he also wanted me to watch it. That's why I started watching it. One of the reasons. But he watches all his anime dubbed. Like, like, it's a. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna watch. Uh, he only watched Naruto stuff. So that's the only thing. Cause he they didn't have the full dub on Hulu. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I know, but like. Also, I've noticed this like tiny detail. I don't know. I don't know if this means anything, but uh. What'd you say? I noticed this like tiny detail in like, the promo art or whatever. And, uh, okay, so have you seen, like, the, the art for, like, Attack on Titan promos? Or, or, like, whenever, like, they were like, oh, new season, or whatever. Actually, this only applies to, like, half of them. Because I remember for season three, it wasn't really... <laughs> okay, but, okay, you know what? You know the art, like, the infamous Attack on Titan art, where it's, like, it's Eren, and he's looking up at the wall, and the Colossal Titan's there, and there's, like, fire everywhere. You see on, like, yeah. the Blu-ray DVDs? Yeah, yeah. So there's that one. And yet, have you seen, like, the... The second half of the Blu-ray DVD for like the second half of the season, where it's it's a, it's like Mikasa, in the town and like she's looking at the, um, the female Titan, which is it's like it's kind of like the same it's in the same style. I'll probably. I look. haven't seen the second one. <laughs> then there's the third one where it's um. It's Aaron. It's season. yeah. It's Aaron in Titan form and like the Wait, scouts behind him looking up. Yeah. And then, yeah. And fighting and then the, the armor Titan. The armor Titan and Aaron, like f like head to head or something like. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that one. But with, with Aaron looking up in the closet, Titans, like, reaching down. I was Do gonna... you have any anime on Blu-ray? No. Is that one? For season Ooh. three, it was just, like, kind of... It, it was Aaron, just Aaron in the center, and, like, all of them thing. I, I don't remember seeing the one where it's, like, Aaron and thing hit the head on the Blu-ray. So, it kind of, it's just kind of like Blu-ray. I don't know Blu-ray, but it was a generic image. <laughs> yeah. It, it could be for the sure. opening. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, uh... I was gonna say like in those episodes, it's like the 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 good, 
the people we're rooting for or like the good people in front looking up at the bad guy and the bad guy's looking down at them. If you notice in season four in the in the thing, they are it's like one of the what's it called? The Marlin soldiers injured looking up at Aaron in Titan form who's yell who's looking down on him and all the scouts are above. So I don't know if that's like a little tiny detail on the on like on who's really the Wait, bad guys also, or good another, guys, but another thing that just is, do you think the, the like like all the scouts are Eldians and can turn into Titans? I don't think so. I don't know. I think because I remember they said that all the Eldians, the ones that were treated like the royals, were the ones inside the walls. Yeah, I thought that was. Just and like... the Marleans sent Titans, like the, the captured Eldians to the walls to kill them and take over the kingdom. Hmm. No, I'm not sure if all the Eldians are. I think half of the Eld or like only a select few cuz there's only like what 13 Titans. So only like a few Eld I guess like a few on each side, I guess. I'm not I, sure. Uh... <laughs> well, there's only like I think one on there. Well, there now there's Armin on their side. Yeah. I can't. I, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how this fucking ends. <laughs> and like, wait, it, it, it really, it really is a cruel fate for to what's it called? <laughs> for uh, to be a Titan shifter, you might think it's all cool and not and all, but like, no, you have like this huge responsibility, and uh, you literally have only 13 years. You have 13 years to live. I don't remember what happens after the 13 oh, yeah. years. But like you, you like I guess you die and if you don't pass on your your if you don't pass on your what's it called your uh your Titan ability but I think it, it gets reborn until like one of the Eldians or Marlians or whatever side you are on. Eldian, Eldian. It always Eldian cause Eldians are the only ones who could turn into Titans, remember? I'm not sure. I'm not a member. It's but confu but okay. I, I, I guess about that. Yeah. But then, like, fucking, to, to pass on your fucking ability, you have to be fucking eaten by a titan. So that's, uh, that's a little harsh. It's fucked up. Aaron has, Aaron has a, a, a cruel fate. But, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how this. Fuck, I'm really fucking excited to see how this turns out. Another thing is, do you think, uh... Uh, we didn't see um, any of the scouts in episode one, except John at the end. Oh what? yeah. That's a time skip, John. He's I... my favorite, I think. Connie actually grew hair, <laughs> and Ar Armin looks more like more more like a buff man, and and Mikasa, what's it called? Got that boy look, or like shorter hair, and then Aaron's Jesus. <laughs> So, uh, I think that's all, that, that's all for that topic. Uh, well, wait, another thing though, uh, who's your favorite scout? Uh, probably Aaron or Levi, I guess. Well, Levi's, Levi's so cool. fucking epic. Levi didn't even change. He, he, he looked, he didn't change like a day. If you see like the fucking time skip art or whatever. Another thing is, yeah. Um. Yeah. He. He's gay. Yeah. He's gay, I guess. Apparently. Yeah, J JP's concentrating so hard on Valorant. Yeah. Well, I think I'm, I'm in I overtime. Th I think I might uh, take this time though. What's it called? While you, while you focus, I'll give you some time to focus and I'll uh, explain a weird dream I had while I was in a, I was in the car. <laughs> I was driving to New, to New Jersey for practice and I fell asleep and I had this weird dream where, uh, it started off like we're like on this highway that's like high in the- Let's go! J JP won his Valorant game, everyone give him- No, I didn't. Or, oh, we're still in overtime, but fuck. it's 13 to 12. <laughs> well- Oh yeah, how many how many points to win in the competitive? Uh, you need to win by two in overtime. So oh, so it's like volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, you should talk about some haiku after your dream. Oh yeah. So the dream started off with like I was, I was in the passenger seat, 
in a car on, on a highway and it was like it was like or like a highway in the mountains because i remember like it was like so high up that you could see like the clouds on the road and it looked like it looked like like we would if you uh pass in if you drive through a cloud it would just look foggy i remember like my dad was like driving uh driving uh through some clouds and he was like getting mad like oh i can't see and one time like we had to there was a cloud in the tunnel so we were like we were driving and he was making like a narrow turn and and like hit the car fucking started scraping the wall like and like oh shit so then we pulled out and we pulled over and it was like night and then was, I, apparently we were out of the mountains i guess and it was like night and it's like this uh really populated area and like my dad got out the car he's looking at the scratch and like while i'm like the whole time i'm in the seat i'm like fucking i'm like this Wait, is this your dream or is this yeah, what this, this while dream, this dream, this is my dream. <laughs> it's okay. all happened in my dream. <laughs> I was like, I was in like sleep position, my my head back, and my mouth was like super dry. I, I couldn't say anything. I couldn't even like get a word out, because like, like it literally felt like I was asleep, but like I was like awake in my dream. It was weird. <laughs> and then like while that was happening, my dad was like at the scratch, but I see in like the air a giant like hovercraft like floating and like moving forward and like it like dive like down in, in front in like on top of the car in front of us and i was like what the fuck so then so then later he gets back in the car and we're driving and then suddenly yeah. it, and then suddenly it's fucking midday i, I don't know how it, it's a uh, it's midday and then we're in like queens and on my way to where on on the way to my my grandma's house because i know that area uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Receiving that last part, my hair was in my eyes. <laughs> so you're on your way to Queens, and what happened? On the way to Queens, and I'm to going to my grandma's house, or on the way to my grandma's house because I I, I recognize the area, and then like, and I was just in the passenger, seat, and so I just, I just went in the, I hopped over to the passenger seat because like, can I go in the back? And he's like, okay, I hopped in the passenger seat and was sat in the seat next to my brother Jake, and then uh, and. I look to my left, and then, then I see the same hovercraft before going down next to the lane next to us, and I'm like, oh look, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, no, but, oh, but, but my mouth was dry, my mouth was dry, so I was like, oh, no, look, look, and look, and, and the fucking hovercraft went down, and I was like, oh, it's a Power Ranger hovercraft, and it went down, and it was like Transformers, pro Transformers hovercraft, and I was like, fuck. It had like the Transformers like colors, Optimus Prime I don't colors. Like Transformers. Transformers suck. We. Transformers suck. So we saw it, and I was like, "Look, look!" Transformers and then, and then we're all suck. looking at it, and oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then like, I then I want some reason after I just went back and I went to the back seat. I wanted to go in the front seat again, but like Charizard was it? What? Literally, Charizard was sitting in the passenger seat, and then I was like, and then hey. I, and I nudge his arm like, "Hey, I want to sit in the passenger seat. Sorry, m m just move over a little bit, buddy." And he moves. He moves back. I go in front, and then for some reason, like my dad makes a wide U-turn, and into the, like the the other lane, and like stops. Charmander. So we're like we're literally passing the other, literally facing the other way, and like we're looking. We're all looking at this fucking like ambulance that's like, because or like a fire truck, like that's in front of this uh, what's it called? In front of this restaurant. It wasn't on fire, but like I guess there was a fire there because there was a fire truck, and like Char's little Charmanders were carrying injured people like outside, and I was like, "Well, look at all the look, look at all the Pokemon," and and, for, and then like my mouth was like I couldn't I literally couldn't get a word out and I I couldn't say anything and then I forgot I I just I don't know what I remembered, but then like I realized something I I realized something that was like super contradictory of my dream I don't remember what it was. But after I remember that, I fucking woke up because I was listening to the a super the super mega cast, which is a super mega podcast, and they had a fucking bit where they explode with a bomb, and I fucking woke up to the bomb sound, and then I had to like I had to take everything in. I had to look around and see it was night, and see see it was nighttime and where I was, and what time it was, because I was like shit, like I my whole fucking reality was like weird weirded out by that. You ever have those dreams? We have to fucking remember like who you are, where you're where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Huh?
it was yeah. weird. It was pretty. Sc- it was pretty scary. I had to. Yeah. I had to realize. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what did I want to talk about? I don't know. Are you still playing Valorant? Yeah, and I'm losing my rank. Bruh. I want to get diamond. Aren't you like platinum right now? I dropped a gold. Is platinum higher or lower than diamond? Higher. Haha. Ha. <laughs> no, no, platinum's lower than diamond. But so like, I'm a diamond level player. I'm diamond level fucker. I almost said something. Am I just saying, yo, to. you guys good? What the hell? What the fuck? Oh my god, and now there's a Hispanic guy named Phoenix. He's like, yo, hello, are you guys loaded in? Hey, yes, hey. Hey, Bendeo, hey, we got burritos, tacos, tostadas. Hey, <laughs> hey you, hey, Holmes, hey, you in the wrong part of Haven, bro. You in the wrong part of. You in the wrong part of the West, me, bro. Hey, this is Amigo hey, Town. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Say the N word, I'm Mexican. Hey, this is a uh, uh, Amigo Town. Hey, Amigo Town. I don't think there's anything can call Amigo Town. <laughs> hey, you in the wrong? Oh, shield. Yeah, JP getting the getting them dubs in Valorant. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Just sing Sasakeo, so I go off. No, <laughs> we're, we're still recording a podcast. I said sing Sasakeo, so I go off. Okay, so High Q, High Q is really good right now. Fuck, I'm all caught up. Took me a while. I'm all caught up to High Q to the top. Welcome back to another anime episode. <laughs> anime centric <laughs> episode. I... Why is Aversley calling me? What the fuck? The fuck? Oh my god, Avery. I'm doing a podcast and playing Valorant. You gotta call me at this time? I think, what's it called? I think Kar- Karasuna is gonna win the thing. I-, I can't even hear you. Avery's ringing me and I forgot <laughs> to do not disturb. Oh no! <laughs> but uh, yeah, to all the Haikyuu fans. Volleyball fit. I gotta say, Haikyuu like really made volleyball more popular. I, I'm pretty sure like a lot of people got into volleyball and tried out for their high school volleyball team because of watching Haikyuu. Yeah. <laughs> it's just pretty weird. Oh, why'd you join the volleyball team? Oh, I like volleyball. It's fun. Uh, I started to play volleyball after all. Uh, it's, it's fun. Why'd you join? Oh, I wanna be I watched like Haikyuu. I wanna be like Hirata Shoyo. It's like the ball. But, uh, yeah. I would want to be a setter. Rep- represent, uh, uh, Ojiro Aaron, the first black to make an appearance in Haikyuu. I think. I just see my appearance in the What? Bro, when, when Hinata, like, received that ball, like, that was... Was that really a big moment? I'm, I mean, it w- it was a... It, they made it really in- impactful, and I get it. Was it was literally his first receive besides... It was his first receive that didn't hit another part of his body besides his hands. Oh, I, yeah, I guess that is his, like, first like, receive... I guess that is his first receive ever, like, right? That's his first well, receive. Te- technically, he's received other stuff, but it hit him in, like, the head and the face. Uh-huh, his foot. He didn't to do that. Yeah. He's done it once with his foot. Remember that one time he was in the air and he moved his foot to the left? Yeah, yeah, get that, that over. Was Remember he hit with his head? That was a miracle shot right there. That was, uh... That was nice. That's, that's JP when he spikes the ball down. <laughs> that's JP when he sets the ball. So or like when he when he serves the ball, but it, but it gets out it gets out of bounds. What are you? Who, who do you play volleyball with? Like when you when you play? Avery. Or, or do, do you still Jack. play it? Do you still play it? Or? Well, it's getting cold out. So. <laughs> but like before, that's you, why I got my little heater. But like before. Oh, that's an actual year. Yeah. But 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 uh, before you used to, you used to actually go out and like play yeah, volleyball. Yeah, Avery has a net at his backyard. So. Well, you, you want to say you must have a big backyard then, right? It's not that big. We always hit it over the fence. Nice. And we also have to we always have to get the ladder and jump over into their backyard. And one time Avery went there and there was a dog outside and it started barking at him. <laughs> started freaking right at him. Ah, Avery! This creepy old guy came outside and it was like, hey. <laughs> He came what outside. Do you do that? Me and Jack were like, oh, before like the old guy came out, we were like, we're gonna, we're not gonna bring the ladder for Avery, so he can't. <laughs> and then we heard the guy, oh, it's coming outside. The creepy old guy from the house next door that we hit the ball over. Hi, what? <laughs> hey. Why don't you uh? And Avery's like, oh. <laughs> hey, little boy. I'm just trying to get the ball 
<laughs> hey, little boy, why don't you uh, and then we were come like, over for dinner? <laughs> And then we uh, had to get the ladder for him. Uh, I, I, cook, I cooked a nice uh, Wait, what we, what turkey dinner. What we would dinner? do is we would hit the ball over the fence. Then we would, On purpose? Then we, Avery would uh, get the ladder and jump over the fence. On purpose. And then he would throw the ball over. On purpose. And then we would throw a mini ladder over. He on would purpose. climb on that, jump over, throw that over, come back on the big ladder, <laughs> coming in. And then, and then he would go on the big ladder and lean over the fence and get a... Uh, just the a whole fence knocks ladder. down. He's fucking on the fence. The whole fence drops out. Oh, shit! I know. It was, like, wobbly. I, and I'm too short to even hop the fence, so I can't even do it. <laughs> the old man just comes out with, like, a a, 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 sh a double barrel shotgun. I have the right to bear arms, and you're trespassing on my property. Were you, were you guys good at volleyball? What? Were you guys good at volleyball? Like What'd when you say? Were you guys good at volleyball? Like, when you used to play in the Not neighbor's really. backyard? Like you weren't that good, but yeah, I mean, the only times I, the only times I remember weren't playing. weren't terrible. Like, I mean, I think I was a really good setter. Like, I had good like sets. Avery was pretty good at spiking, I guess. But... Yeah, the only the only times I played volleyball was in the the gym classes, and like, like literally, like I don't really like, see the gym and like high school volleyball. They don't know about positions. <laughs> Like they just make it so like they rotate around and play whatever position they're yeah, at. Yeah, unless unless you're on the what's it called? Unless you're on the volleyball team and you know what you're doing, you know how to play the game. Then like literally all the games go is like they someone sets it and they, they look at the ball and they they just, they just let it drop and they oh, look and oh, then they wait, look at each other and they're like, "Oh, oh, I thought you were getting it." Like, "Oh, sorry, I thought you were getting it." And then, like, oh, and then like, other really times, like... Volleyball schools actually have positions. Like, they don't have, like... They have liberos and stuff. Like, no high yeah. school has liberos. Like, you sure? Yeah, because, like, my high school... Uh, well, I don't know about our, my school. I don't I don't, I don't. don't watch their volleyball games. I don't know. Yeah, my have... school is, like, a big team. Like, my friends play it. My, like, my friend Peter is the best one. Him and Connor are the two best out of my all my friends because they... Peter's really tall and good at it, and then Connor's a good mm -hmm. receiver. Mm-hmm. Like, they're really good at... And they they were on the volleyball team. Yeah, I remember I, I had my my fair share of getting receives, but like. Did, does your you does your YouTube know about that you're a rest you play like you're a wrestler? My YouTube people who watch it. Yeah. I I I mentioned it like a couple of times I guess. You know what's it called? I, I don't really a like couple? talking about the. I don't really like talking about wrestling to be honest. I kind of just want to keep that like different from like my social life because I'm all. Cause when I'm not like home or like making a or making a video or doing whatever, maybe if I'm on a rest day, then I'm fucking wrestling, and like my my dad takes it like very seriously. So, oh uh, one one little mistake and fucking like we, spanks you. He, <laughs> yes, he has to hold himself back. He's he's like this. Argh! He's holding his hand back. Argh! Do you like wrestling though, or? I mean, it's all right. It's not like my favorite. I'm not really into sports in general, to be honest. Here am I. Now I gotta hope. <laughs> I gotta hope my my wrestling buddies that don't watch this episode or like people affiliated with wrestling don't they, they don't watch this episode, and they're like so uh, uh I saw you, you had a YouTube channel and I decided to watch episode sixty three of your your your, your Min Justin broadcast, and at um minute thirty three and thirty five seconds you you mentioned that you don't like wrestling. What are you doing in this club? And like um. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sure, yeah. Did your like parents ever watch your videos or your family? No, I think my cousin, my cousins do, but they don't watch the entire podcast. Like your cousin, like remember they thought I was like five years old. Yeah. Was that that was that the cousin you were birthday at today? No, that's a different cousin. <laughs> like the one I went to today was like baby, two years, two years old. The other one's in fucking I don't know. He's so spoiled. It's Spoiled. I'm not gonna name drop him, cause like it's it's weird, cause like I know they don't watch my videos, but then like so when I go over there, then like they or like sometimes they text me about something, like a, a recent podcast episode. Remember that one where we brought back face cams, for we brought back face cams and like that was like the main subject for the, the thing. Yeah, like the one with the puppet. Yeah, it's like five minutes in. I was like, oh my cousin texted me and you did uh, so if you if. Uh, if you if you if you're that cousin that did it, type in the comment below, or whatever. Cause he was like, he's like, hey, I was watching your podcast. I think it would be really funny, or like, I think it'd be really good 
if you put face cams or something, or maybe like background music to help. Which, what podcasts don't really have background music? We can't really do that. I think you know he meant background gameplay. But yeah, it was like background music. I remember he said background music, and like he also mentioned like gameplay in the back. But like, no, nah, we don't really want to do that. Like he. Is there any? Uh, okay, I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, but you, you is there go. anything you like want, like any games or anything in particular for Christmas? Uh. Because Christmas is coming up. Now, how about you? How about you go first? I want to get my fucking head back in front of it. Um. <laughs> well, there's, I, uh, I want um, like there's this. That uh, new Cyberpunk game is coming out. Yeah, I don't know if I want it. But I want it's it looks like cool. It. Coast is really into eh. it, and, he, and he's like, and, but the way he's talking about it all now, I, he, he probably might get it. Like, oh, I don't know what to choose. Oh, should I be a nomad, or should I be, uh, uh. uh another thing, um, with the, with the games for Christmas that I would want, there's two. I want the, both the Pokemon DLCs, the Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think mm -hmm. that would be cool. And the Super Mario 3D All-Stars or whatever. Oh, yeah. Cause like, I really want to play Galaxy and Sunshine. I'm not too big of a fan of 64, but like, <laughs> Galaxy is my favorite game, like ever. Uh, one of my favorite games. For games this year that I want, nothing really stick out to me. Uh, like so far, this, this year, I guess, or maybe just like maybe just haven't heard. But uh, the games I do want, there it comes out next year. Oh, if you're done, food is here. If not, gonna leave it on table. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my McRib. My McRib. <laughs> but, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, the games I want this year. No, I don't know. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm fucking thinking of the th McRib. But, uh, okay, so the games I want is coming out next year, 2021. I wanna get, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne yeah. HD Remaster. I want to get that on the PS4 because I want more PS4 games. I would get it. I want, I want to get it on the PC. Or, wait, is it on PC? Uh, we don't know yet. It's on Switch and it's on Switch and PS4. They might put it on PC because there was like a little. Go, someone was looking in the PC codes or, and like down drop drop. If it, it doesn't go on PC, I'll get it on um. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. If I if I end up getting it, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch you play it first. I wanna get that, and I wanna what's it called? Persona Five Scramble. Persona Five Scramble, the Phantom Strikers, or Persona Five Strikers, dude. The day I what what was it? I forgot what day it was, but literally, I in one of my morning classes, I fucking saw I watched a YouTube trailer for it, and I was like, oh, I, I was like, oh, I was orgasming. It was it was that was like the best news I got that whole day. And then at the end, it's a, like, so where are we heading next? And like, Futaba's texting. He said, "Oh, when, when you said that, when you put that in your bio, I was like, wait, I still got the PS5." No, I can't get the PS5. Oh, I wish. But uh, what's it Me called? Costa, that's what we thought. But uh, what's it called? Uh, I want to get the. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I punched my monitor. Epic, but yeah, it's coming out for Persona Five Strikers or Scramble. It's coming out for PS4, what, what, Nintendo Switch, game, and like, Steam. What is it? So you you know Dynasty Dynasty Warriors? No. Or or do you know uh, Hy Hyrule Warriors? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that whole genre where you're you're just fighting big mobs. It's based off the the Dynasty Warrior games, in like in like that style. Oh, so, but like, so that's do, so do, Persona you, do you Five. Play Persona Five to. Yeah, well, it it it, 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 it really helps because if we go to, if you just go in the blind, you're gonna be confused because you're gonna see all these characters and like the the regular Persona Five games. It help it, like it introduces these characters, gives these characters more background information and like and like more information on like mementos and stuff because apparently mementos comes back because. If Mementos comes back in Persona Five Strikers, and like, it's I don't know. It, I I feel like for to really get the full full or better experience, you're gonna need to play the Persona Five or Persona Five Royale first. Mm. So it's it, yeah, it's basically a Strikers game. You're playing the Persona, Persona Five characters, and you're like you're fighting huge hordes, and it implements some, uh, what's it called? 
some aspects of the Persona gameplay. So in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck <laughs> is that? What you do? Wait, when we actually play Valorant games, you make those sounds. Is that what you actually do? You clap and you're like, ah! <laughs> well, that was weird. <laughs> Do you ever think you're gonna go pro in Valorant? No. <laughs> Dude, I, I wanna get in front of this stupid rank. Okay, JP, like, I'm, I'm not even. Oh shit, my right camera. Now, whenever I try, I just get so fucking mad. Okay, JP, so, like, uh, we're gonna take a little break right now. I'm just gonna quickly grab my food and come back. Hurry up. All right, we're I gonna. Have to Those burgers. So uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, I'll cut it right here and uh. There we go. We're right back. Here we go. So we're back, is that guys. Your mom? Is that what? Your mom? You just came is that your mom? in. No, this is my brother, Jake. We're back, guys. Uh, I got two. Like, I was like, okay, it looks. It looks like. Yeah. Uh, like it's your brother at first, and then I was like, wait. He's my brother. I, I would share a room with my mom. I share a room with my brother. I know, but like, I thought you came in to give me like your McDonald's. <laughs> no, I went out to get it. So I got two sandwiches because my dad. Just order me two sandwiches because he said they were small. So JP was right on the money with that. <laughs> I told you this, you didn't listen to me. Oh right, yeah, we're back by the way. So uh, you guys might you guys might not see this, but you're gonna you're gonna hear it right now. So we got the the McRib, first one, and then uh this is this is what we're gonna end the podcast with. Wow, look at that! It's all fucking messy. Look at all that barbecue sauce everywhere. <laughs> Apparently they said like the fucking something about the McRib, how they fucking use something for the meat. It's like not rib, just fucking like fat it's and penis. Meat. Yeah. Penis? J J J penis? J before. Oh yeah, I don't think That's you met. I don't think you mentioned it on the podcast. So like, what what was your experience with the McRib? Um, it was. My mouth is watering. It, it was good. It was okay. JP is kind of right. I already said it smells like it smells like, like lunch meat and looks like lunch meat or and like lunch it, food. Yeah. But it's 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 okay. It's pretty. It's decent. We got, like, we got it's get... one of those foods that's not good, but like you want more, cause it's good. We gotta. It's literally any other fast food. Yeah, it's 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 just like schlop. It's schlop. Yeah. It's like good schlop. Well, what? It's like this... addictive. Good. Not yeah, good, it's it, it, it's fast food. It's McDonald's. It's fast food. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is the what's it called? This is. I can't live when you steal my kills, cause I'm playing Reyna. <laughs> Should I screen share? No, not right now. We're still podcasting. Oh yeah, cause then they'll hear it. Yeah, I'm doing the review in the podcast. And then they'll hear my teammates. And so this was the fucking menu that they discontinued, and people loved it when they brought it back. It's finally back. I never thought I would eat one in my day. So here we go. First bite. Yeah, my my dad used to tell me about the McRib when I was little, and I was like, wah, 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 wah. and now. I'm addicted to McRibs. It's alright. You got that little pickle and onion in there. Yeah. That's not rib. I actually thought it would like be like... Well, okay. I don't know what I was expecting. But it's fucking McDonald's. They're not going to actually bring in like fucking gourmet ribs. Yeah. And take it off the bone and put it in there. Yeah, I was I was expecting like softer meat. It's not rib at all. It's just schlop meat. <laughs> I was expecting like softer meat. And like... Because uh, what you get like baby back ribs. This is legit... They, uh, what's it called? They took their hamburger patty and made it into a rectangle. <laughs> they made it into a rectangle shape. And they, what's it called? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they slathered it in barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce on it. They slathered it in barbecue sauce. That's all they did. Damn. Second bite. Are you addicted to McRibs? You know, I want a McRib. <laughs> Uh, I I feel my pupils dilating. Should I get a McRib? Right now, you're gonna order it. Maybe. Like I'm hung unless I have something I can make at home. I don't have any more ramen. I'm out. Make a make a make a, make a, make a rib at home. Like. You ever saw that YouTube channel that makes like things? But, but I forgot his name. But it's like oh, this cooking yeah. channel. He made. Oh, I made the. I made a McDonald's Big Mac, but better, or whatever. Like gourmet tacos. Those were fire. Literally. I was only watching a video of his the other day. Like, I made the McRib, but better. Stronger, faster. I think he actually used his rib for that. 
But in the end, in the end, it's food and it's addictive because it's McDonald's. That food is good. Now, of course, I'm gonna love it. I'm loving it, McDonald's. But uh, you know what came <laughs> back at Taco Bell? What? The toasted cheddar chalupa is back at Taco Bell. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Me and you got it on the same, first day it came out. We rode our bikes there in the freezing cold. Who, just who, to get who the you got it? Who you got it? Me and Dino. Mm. We rode our good? bikes all the way to Taco Bell to get the toasted cheddar chalupa. I'm not a favorite. I'm not a super. It looks pretty good. Oh, I'm getting. Even though, even though I'm not, I'm, even though I'm not really a big fan of Taco Bell, I do like some of their items, like that grilled cheese burrito and uh, that 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 chalupa. I like the chalupa. That one does look, but that one, the toasted the cheddar chalupa, does amazing, look good. But the grilled cheese burrito. It's all right. One time I just been to it and it was like all paper because I didn't see the paper because it was like it was fused at the cheese. <clears throat> I just I able. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna finish my food uh, off camera, and uh, just a, a little bit of a shorter episode today. Yeah. But uh, hey, we're 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 just boys being boys, you know. Boys being boys. So uh. Boys be boys. <laughs> JP, end us off with a good note. I just ning 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 ning. What? What? Bye. <laughs> Bye.